Hello, in this video, we're going to find the reference angle. So before we do this problem, let me just briefly refresh your memory on what a reference angle is. And I'm gonna do that with some quick pictures. I'm just gonna scroll down here and just show you really quickly. So let's say we have an angle and it looks like this and it ends right here. So this is the terminal side of the angle. So the reference angle is the positive acute angle made with the terminal side of our angle and the x-axis. It would be this angle here. This yellow angle would be our reference angle. Likewise, if instead we had an angle that ended, say, here, again, the reference angle is the positive acute angle made with the terminal side of our angle and the x-axis. So in this case, it would be this blue angle here. So it's always going to look like that. Always connect the x-axis with the terminal side of your angle. And it's always acute, right? So it's acute. So that's why you don't do it over here. That would be not an acute angle. Okay, let's go ahead and do 240. So let's think about where 240 is. That's typically how you do these problems, by the way, is you just draw a picture and then you try to figure it out from there. So we know that this is zero degrees and this is 90 degrees and this is 180 degrees. So this here must be 270 degrees and then this is also 360. Okay, so 240 is gonna be over here somewhere. So, cause it's less than 270 and more than 180. And so the reference angle is the positive acute angle made with the terminal side of our angle and the x-axis. So in this case, it'll be right here. And so if our angle here is 240, and we're at 180, how much more do we need? Well, we need 60 more, right? Because if you add 60 to 180, you get 240. So in this case, the reference angle is theta equals 60 degrees. Boom, really nice. Let's go ahead and do 340. 340 is way over in quadrant four. It's way over here. That's 340 degrees. And the reference angle is going to be, again, the positive acute angle made with the terminal side of our angle and the x-axis. So it'll be right here. So in this case, um, to get from 340 to 360, you simply need 20, right? So you need 20 more, and that would be our reference angle. So theta is equal to 20 degrees, good stuff. And the last one is negative 110. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to do that one, give ourselves some more room. So now we're thinking about negative angles, okay? So we're, we're traveling clockwise now. So this would be zero. This would be negative 90 degrees. This would be negative 180 degrees. So negative 110 is gonna be somewhere over here, okay? It's negative 110. And again, the reference angle is, again, the positive acute angle, so it goes this way, made with the terminal side of our angle and the x-axis. So if this is negative 110, and we're trying to get to negative 180, we need 70 more. So in this case, it would be 70. You might say, oh, you need negative 70. No, no, it's always a positive angle. You see the direction here is uh, counterclockwise. So there we go. That's how you find the reference angles. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.